is the uh, ending of another crazy weekend. We didn't do any filming last week. Um, it was Rise Fest weekend, and it was just it's absolute crazy every year. So it's go go go, run back and forth, get them set up, get in, get out. So we didn't have no time for none of that. But we have to go pick them up today. Rise Fest is over, um, so we'll do some filming, kind of show us picking them up and how we set up for Rise Fest, but. This week, all the campers were out, so we did some spraying. All these weeds are finally starting to curl over a little bit. Get all these out of here. And then uh, Courtney's made two runs to Indiana this week. Um, her mom rode with her the other day. Let's see, what day did she go? I think she went on Tuesday. I stayed home and worked on some campers, got some stuff fixed on them. Um, was dealing with insurance company and stuff like that <clears throat> so now we're just kind of waiting to hear um, back on that we had to take it to the dealer to get an estimate they don't send the adjuster out so um, took it to the dealer so he could look at it for a few days get stuff figured out and then uh, like I said I was doing that Courtney and her mom she ran out with Courtney and she, Courtney grabbed one and then let's see Friday Thursday Thursday we set up so Wednesday night we got five campers hauled to Sheldon and parked them at the dealership just parked by, uh, behind his shed the dealer that we buy the campers at is literally like a block and a half from where they have rice fest the ground so um, we just start stacking a bunch of campers up there so that way we can bring the last few on Thursday morning and then just run back and forth pick them up and set them up and get in get out and then Friday mornings when all the bands show up so they use our campers Four of them, uh, five of them, they use for the bands. Let's see, three, four. No, it is four of them. So four of them are used for the bands. Um, for that's the place where they can hang out during the day. Um, stay in air conditioning. Like right now, it's what is it? Nine o'clock in the morning, and it is 86 degrees, and it's got to be like 90% humidity. And just to the south of us, it's pretty dark that way. But all that stuff's gonna stay south. It's gonna miss all of us, uh, miss us here, so we don't have to deal with that today. Um, but yeah, so they use four for the bands, and then uh, one they use this year as like a, oh, it's like for breastfeeding mothers and stuff like that, or place they could go and sit with their baby or whatever, feed and change diapers, whatever. So one camper just sat there for that. We had uh, bless a family. Um, for it's kind of like a make a wish foundation in a sense um so one of our campers was there for that and then we had actually two of them there for rentals um the baby changing one we ended up using my brother's camper because we found out we had an oops on wednesday night um thursday night thursday night um we were on our way to sheldon with like five of the campers and this lady called she's like well you haven't called you know um set up delivery time blah 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 this that and i had no idea what she was talking about to find out she had a reservation for july not june so somewhere um all of our confirmation emails all had july everything had july and apparently she needed a camper for june for uh, country thunder so that kind of just threw us for a loop so um Got a hold of my brother to see if he wanted to use one of his at Rise Fest. Um, so we used his for that and we had to flip flop stuff around trying to open up a camper. So it was kind of a mad rush and whatnot, but it all worked out. So yeah, we got two at Country Thunder and seven of them at Rise Fest. So yeah, I'm not really feeling this. It is really muggy and there is no breeze. It is just dead calm still. Now it wants to stop blowing. We could use a nice breeze today. But, uh, and then we got some other little critters this week too. So we'll show you those guys a little later. But right now, we have to go get some campers.
went to Courtney's camper that she went to Indiana and picked up, went and delivered that. Cause he is literally right over here, the other side of this stage building. Well, this is kind of what uh, we have set up for the, the band members. Uh, there was one more camper sitting in front of that generator. I just pulled the camper off that was sitting this way, and now I got to grab these two. But they make like a horseshoe. But now I got to figure out how to get these gates out of here by myself and make room to get these pulled out of here. We had to use my dad's truck to get this one kind of jackknifed into there because I can't turn that tight with having a flatbed. So this will be a little interesting, but we'll manage. These gates aren't that heavy. I guess if I have to, I'll have to take them apart and do one at a time or something. But one down. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four. Four more to go here. Five to go here yet. And then, yeah, we had six. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I had eight of them here, never mind. One was my parents though, so they took that one back. So we got six. Six left to go. So I'll be back and forth, back and forth. At least it's only about an hour round trip. And then Courtney should be coming here shortly to grab one too. She had to go drop off uh, our youngest son's uh, girlfriend. So she's gonna go drop her off and then she's coming to grab one. Damien had a, a late night. He got his days and nights backwards because he rode out with Courtney. So he was up all night long. So he slept all day yesterday. Well, he was up all night last night again. So, so I'm sure he's got his nights and days mixed up. So he'll probably have a late morning, early afternoon. <laughs> gonna be afternoon because it's almost noon now but all right let's get these gates moved and get out of here two back. Damien did get out of bed this morning. I figured he'd sleep a little longer, but he showed up about the time I was getting ready to hook up. And now he's in a, he's got number three back. And now we're going to head back. Courtney's on her way there now. He's going to grab my brother's camper and take that back to him. Got to do some air conditioner work on your truck. It's hot out. And I don't have any. It's hot and you don't have air. And he's tired and cranky. <laughs> Uh, it's been a long week. And then we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to get these all cleaned up. And then I think they start going, well, no, we got two going back tomorrow. You're going, you're going to make some stay. Yeah, you're going you to go to Yankton. So I guess tomorrow we got one going back out right away. So me and Courtney will go deliver one to uh, Yankton, South Dakota. It's not really a poor city. Well, it's a poor city. It's a yeah. So he's got to go to the... Um, Country, Country Thunder is where he dropped one off, so he's going to pick that one back up. And yeah, everyone here don't ever go there. There's no good way to get there. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a lot of zigzag, and there's no straight shot going yeah. to Mesa City from here. You zigzag for about half an hour, and then you take 15 miles of gravel, and then you go for about an hour of road construction. It's a great time. Yeah, there's a lot of detours. Well, there was a lot of detours. I haven't been over that way for probably about a year. I think it was last summer when we went over that way. They're redoing a bridge on one area and they're redoing some intersection, so it was a lot of detours and jumping around crappy roads. It took me an extra 40 minutes. It's great. Yeah. Well, he's done flushing the tanks on his, and so he's gonna get his backed up, and we're gonna head back. And round three for me, round two for him, round one for Courtney. Oh, look at that. She got it all backed in by herself. It's only taken like 15 years of backing boats and campers up, but she's finally getting it. Before she'd never pull a camper either, but now look at her girl, she pulls them all over the country. <laughs> Damien's grabbing my brothers. Oh, there's a sign in the window yet. 
so this one's all packed up cleaned up ready to go pretty much everything is cleared out of here i mean they got all the tents and stuff left here that uh that's the stage harvest stage but otherwise usually over there it's all vendors crowds all in here they got volleyball court over there usually have a bunch of games set up for the kids but this one was set up like i said like a place to breastfeed or whatever and we got everybody here now there's courtney and caden we have the last three campers sitting in the campground so we're gonna grab two of them and then i'll have to make that trip back and get the last one it is getting hot you heading out all right let's see at home so he's gonna take that back over to my brothers and then he's gotta do some work on his air conditioner on his truck after they rebuilt the engine they never recharged it what Me and check his tail lights quick. So now we got to head way over there. Okay, setting over to one of ours. We got one more over the hill. You can kind of see the top of it right about there. And then the other one's right there. So we're gonna get hooked up to those. Get out of here. It's still toasty out. But the chickens are home. Chickens are home. Oh, the chickens. Campers are home. Some. Some. We got two more coming back tomorrow. One goes out tomorrow, so we're going to clean those later tonight when it's not blazing hot. Yeah. We just had a horn home. Yeah, that's the kiddos leaving. Mike and Maddie are here, but I'll go check it out. So that's just the kid leaving. But now, nah, we, uh, we got, uh, what we, what we bought, we ordered 30 of these little broilers. Aren't they cute? They're just the cutest little things. It makes me feel bad that in a couple weeks they're uh, going to be chicken alfredo, but <laughs> I'm a meat lover, so it is what it is. We ordered, yeah, like I said. He just passed out. I thought we had a casualty. Um, we ordered 30. Only, what, was it 26? 24. 24 came in. Only 24 made it in shipment. So apparently the odds are not in their favor. And then we had one casualty so far. This morning. Yeah, but I don't know. They all looked healthy. They all, and I fed them, it was like eight o'clock. And that was like 11. Caden came and checked on them. And we had, we had one that was topsy-turvy. And then these guys are quite a bit bigger. These are the egg layers. We got uh, red, what the heck were they? Red, I don't know. Red somethings and black somethings. Not very good. Gotcha. These guys were super cute also when we first got them. But, uh. They're starting to get their feathers already. They are. You're gonna make us some omelets. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. She's crazy. Yeah, a little wet. So, this is our afternoon plan. This to build. Apparently it's called a chicken tractor. I like to call it the chicken skid. I was gonna say it's a skid. I'm not sure where the tractor part comes in at, but. So for the broilers, you can literally just build like a little chicken coop and you put it out in your grove and you literally just move it on the new grass every day. We have a lot of grass. So this will be our goats, I guess. <laughs> I mean, they don't eat grass but they yeah. eat the, the bugs they eat the grass too oh they do Supposedly. i don't know Sweet. i'm not a chicken farmer now i don't have to mow that's they what at least, i know they rip it all up for sure but that's all right we got a lot of it i was watching a couple little videos on how to build these things and what's the point of them and whatnot it's way cheaper than building a chicken coop so and it's, and it's good supposed, to move them around it's good to move them around it's good for the ground it's supposed to be healthier for the birds less on buying food so we're gonna give it a whirl. We have yeah, no idea how this is gonna turn out. And we don't. we don't have to get a, we're gonna put some tin on the top, but it just so happens that we had an awning that got scrapped. <laughs> so we're gonna put an awning on there. So now they'll be, you know, in the shade and style. Yeah. It'll be, it'll actually probably be better quality than these new campers are built. <laughs> we're just using scrap wood. I don't know, we'll see how this turns out.
out. Um, I tried explaining to them. They had just told me that they just got done unpacking. I tried to explain, explain to them, you know, it's a tin box. It's a camper. You open the door a lot and it's going to heat up with it being 100 degrees outside. That's that's just how it is. But I don't know. They said they rented a camper last year and it didn't work out. So I'm starting to wonder if it's not them. They don't. It's a camper. It's not... It's not a house, you know, central air furnace system. So I told him, I said, if you want to try and get more air in the front, you could even put some painter's tape over one of the ducts that has a lot more air coming out to try and force air to another one. You know, if he wants more air coming out, or we even offered him, you know, if they went and bought a fan, we'd reimburse him from the fan to circulate the air better. But this is the first time I've ever heard of this, I guess. But well, yeah, you saying it was hotter inside than outside, and then we asked him if the air conditioner was froze up. And then he went on to explain how it wasn't froze up because the air that was coming out was cool and then how the whole cooling and air and this and that and how it wasn't froze up. So, I don't know. I don't... I think they're just going to be one of those that we can't make happy, so... We just told them we're going to come get the camper. Nice way to add to the day of getting a wisdom tooth pulled. Yeah. But, the good news is is we got the chicken coop skid whatever you want to call it done today chicken tractor chicken tractor so that uh it was hot very hot in the shop but we pulled through and got it done even after he got a wisdom tooth pulled he was out there there working on it so we'll uh we uh repurposed the awning we did the camper that got the awning ripped off well tomorrow we'll show you the the chicken coop. It's going to be about midnight or after by the time we get home tonight, so probably isn't going to happen tonight, but you know. Tomorrow's going to be a sleep-in day, but I know already the phone's going to be ringing at 8 o'clock in the morning. It always does. Always Whenever does. we have a late night, it's always the next morning we have phone calls. Yep, yep. There's um, a lot of people that uh, like to call and just check on their reservation and make sure everything's still good. It could be, you know, two months out, but, you know, that's okay, whatever. I don't blame them. I mean, it's a vacation, so they just want to make sure everything's going good, and we've uh, we've never canceled on anyone, so hopefully, hopefully we never do. Um, I don't know. Does this one count? No, this doesn't count. This is them. They are just unhappy with, they've never camped before, so I think they just don't understand the whole thing. I don't know what's going on, but uh, some people you can't make happy. I mean, I offered to buy them a fan. Like, we told them, you know, we, we flat out told them it's 100 degrees out. With you guys going in and out as much as you are, it's not going to cool off. You know, it's, it's just like... Stupid. Wherever your front door is in your house, lock that room off, open the door a ton of times, it's going to warm up in there. That's that's just the way it is, whether it's a house or a camper or a barn, it doesn't matter what it is, it's the same result's going to happen, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't make everybody happy, but we try. You know, they started saying how oh, our service was great, and then we, now our service sucks, and I don't, I don't. I don't know how to fix something that's not real. We we kind of knew they it was gonna be like this when our son dropped the camper off and he had to go through everything. He had to put the awning out and retract it back in um, to make sure that worked right. The guy even downloaded an app on his phone and, and an put it an angle finder and put it on the bumper of the camper to make sure the camper was 100% level. It, it was off two degrees, two degrees. So I mean that's. Our son's pretty good at what he does, if you ask me. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, that's kind of how you yeah, know. He, like, he even had him turn on every water faucet to prove that every water faucet worked. Yeah, it was every... I mean, this is a brand new camper. We just... It was built in, what, February? Well, we, we use this camper more than we can. Yep. It's been rented out every weekend. Everyone said it's great. We haven't had any complaints, you know. Pretty well all of our campers are new. Our oldest one is a 2020, so... It's not like we, we have junk, but... And we go through everything all the time to make sure everything's working. All the time. So, we do monthly reports on everything, plus whenever everything, you know, whenever anything comes back, it goes in the shop and we go over everything. I mean, we did have a couple weeks ago, a lady called us and said that the fridge wasn't working, which we were like, okay, well, that's weird, but it, the fridge really wasn't working. It was the 
So. Yep, yep. Luke's view is, oh yeah, you guys saw that. So, you know, I mean, we don't claim that everything is 100% all the time. You know, stuff happens and we apologize and we offered for that lady, we offered to come and check it out. And, you know, what we, we do what we can for our customers because we want people to come back. But some people you just can't please. So that's, that's my rant for the night. <laughs> Anyway, we are in Yankton. Um, Yankton is an awesome little town. If you guys have never been here, actually, it's pretty. It's a pretty decent sized town. Um, they have really great ice cream here. Uh, what is it called? Something Dock. The something, dairy Dock. The Dairy Dock. Yeah. If you're ever. We're gonna be here too late to get some of that. Yeah. If you're ever in Yankton, head up the Dairy Dock. It's it's worth it. You get. Way too much ice cream for um well for me anyway but uh not a huge ice cream fan but you know i make exceptions for the dairy dock and for the little shack out at paulina lake because that can't be beat i'm gonna say paulina they got better blizzards or storms or they call them in here they got better what they call these things in some days no I'm sure technically what they call them. i don't remember what they call them but there is like 50 percent of junk food in there with the ice cream it's pretty good. It's pretty good for you. Yeah. So. Pretty good for developing man boobs. Oh, there's the KOA. You guys can't see it, but it's back there. Um, that is the best campground. The hosts there are awesome. Uh, they have, we used to have a permanent site there, and they have a pool, and they have, what's it, I think they call it the blob. It's, it's like, a or something. it's like a huge trampoline yeah, It looks like the blob thing. that you jump on the water to launch somebody in the air, but it's on the ground, so it's like an air trampoline yeah. thing. So our kids love staying there when, when they were younger, so we did that for a couple summers, but yanked in the, the river, um, the Missouri River runs through here, and it's getting a little overpopulated in the summer, so, you know, plus with us doing the rentals, we can't hardly get away every weekend or even one weekend a summer, so. <laughs> but that is our night, and uh, do you have anything to add, Lovey? Wish us luck. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Well, we made it home last night about 1230. And the wind picked up something horrible last night. It's starting to finally die down now. But I didn't do any recording this morning because the wind was blowing like 30 mile an hour and this thing was rocking all over. But this is a different camper. Um, this one, Damien brought home yesterday. And it's been into the triple digits the last couple days. I think right now, I mean, it's overcast and it's blowing. I think it's still 95 degrees and it is just muggy. Um, but this one, they said the door wouldn't open after it got hot so we've had this problem before um like i don't know if it's we didn't have this much problem with fiberglass campers but we went to the aluminum tin sided whatever um we've been having this problem i think what it is when it gets hot and the sun's beating on it <clears throat> i think everything expands and it pinches the door so on this one you can see where it's got gouging right there and it's actually it's hitting on these two screws here i don't even see those you know, that there and that one there so how we fix it is we tighten these screws up and try and get this sunk down as far as we can without stripping it out and then i do the same thing on these and then i take a hammer and i just tap on this so it kind of caves it in a little bit without really denting it you can't even tell but it moved a little bit and now like i said it's like 95 there is no sun right now but it opens just fine now so that one is fixed that was a pretty simple one and then uh the air conditioner one i have sitting over there and we got there and you could put your hand up there and the back of your hand would get cool it's not like it was blowing out a lot of air which at the very end duct never really does but um yeah i don't know they, they changed their story about 10 times and it just i don't know what the deal is we just we tried everything. We offered, like I said, buying them a fan if they wanted to help circulate the air better and they didn't want to do that. He just said that they uh, they didn't want the camper anymore. It worked, but it didn't work. So, I don't know. They want a full refund 
and they had a week-long rental plus it was delivered uh it's like 105 miles one way so there's delivery fees on there i guess i don't know what do you guys think do you refund someone like that to make them happy and then you lose out on a full week's worth of rent when you know we're in the midwest our camping season is about four to four and a half months long so we really need to utilize these campers when we can utilize them so i told the wife i don't think we should give them a refund they want a full refund and courtney thinks we should keep the delivery charge keep the uh deposit and keep one night since they basically had it the first night so i guess i don't know what do you think we should do what would you do i know um like when we used to do walleye tournaments and stuff if the weather got bad and they canceled the tournament and we left two three four days early we don't get refunded from a hotel for leaving early so that's kind of it's kind of my thought is they're complaining about something that works that just doesn't work the way they want it to work i guess and they had told us um back to them kind of changing their stories around they told us that they tried renting a camper last year and it didn't work out there's stuff wrong with the camper so it kind of makes me think that they're just you can't please them type of people um and then when we were picking this camper up the lady said that they're going to go back to their camper and she started explaining how they had just a small little 16 footer or something like that or 18 footer and then they also made the comment how they had never camped before so all within a half hour 45 minutes of us being there kind of looking the camper over and hooking up to it last night we got three different stories from these people so i don't i don't know i don't know if they're just the ones that no matter what you do you can't please them and i'm not sure but part of owning a business i guess and customer service i i i don't know i'm lost for words i think it's just some people you can't make happy we've had this once before over a sewer hose so we had this lady that had a camper for a whole week and then the last day they called us and wanted a refund because the campground they were at required a special coupler on the end of the sewer hose which we didn't know about we didn't have it and i told her i'm like it's not a big deal i'm like if you want to run to the, to the store i'm like it's like a 12 dollar little coupler so i knew what you're talking about i said it's not a big deal and they were also about an hour and a half drive away i told them i'm reimbursing for it you know sorry um but uh no she pretty much went off on me about how we ruined their whole vacation and all that stuff and they'd re never rent from us again and whatnot and how uh the maintenance guy had come up and chewed their butts and whatever so we actually had called the maintenance guy and he said that he had just gone up there and told them that the next time they were there um just to have that coupler or to let us know that we need those couplers if we have any campers going to that campground so what the maintenance man had told us and what that lady had told us were two different stories but i think it's just you're gonna get those people sometime you just no matter what you do you can't please them so we even uh last night we even told uh the couple that there's another rental place that was actually like a mile away like if you guys want to rent from them you know here's our here's their number and whatnot and they wanted nothing to do with it so i don't know it's almost like they got there and it was too hot and decided they didn't want to camp or something because they're just gonna go get a hotel but then they went and walked to their camper supposedly i i don't know but anyway that's enough rant ranting uh so anyway this one's fixed we're gonna get this one pulled out of the way i'm gonna get our chicken coop out of here chicken tractor and uh uh oh we got a kitty that thinks he's gonna get a chicken <laughs> nope these guys it's crazy how fast they grow overnight these guys are starting to get their tail feathers there's a couple of them in here that are just starting to get their tail feathers yesterday they had their feathers in their wings starting but not the tail feathers i'll get out of here uh but here's our little chicken tractor we built used the awning as the roof got a little door built the whole thing out of scrap lumber laying around the farm and a scrapped awning so these little sides can flip up gotta do something with that yet though um I'm not sure we're gonna put bungee cords and maybe some grommets or something on it so we can bungee cord it up so on hot days we can put the sides down 
for more shade or open the sides up if it's windy or keep it down during storms and whatnot. So if you're not sure what a tr chicken tractor is, it's literally like a chicken coop. It's got eyelets on the other side and you drag it around. So you got little eyelets down here. I'm gonna get a rope so I can hook it to the four wheeler and pull it. Um, but uh, yeah, you literally just pull it around out in your grove. That way they're on fresh grass, fresh dirt. They can eat the grass, the bugs, the dirt, and all that stuff every day. And I mean, you obviously still feed them their, their food and water and whatnot, but then we can just pull this and stick it behind one of the sheds in the winter time when we're not using it. And then we gotta get the barn ready, uh, the hog building. We just gotta clean it out. There's a bunch of old siding and stuff from the house and stuff in there. But the old little hog barn we're gonna turn into the uh, the little chicken coop, I guess, for the egg layers. We gotta build some little nesting boxes, but anyway, that was our little project. So, like I said, we're gonna get this one pulled out. I'm gonna get the other one pulled back in here with the air conditioner and see if there's anything that I can change on it to make it blow more air. I don't know. The only thing I could think of is actually putting some like painter's tape or something, take the little vents off and put some tape up there to kind of restrict uh, a couple of the other ones to kind of force the air toward the front and the rear better. So I don't know. We'll figure something out, I think. I hope not call the dealer, see if he's got any recommendations, if he's ever had anybody complain about it. But I mean, they're all the same. They all do that. I mean, the one in the kitchen, dining room, whatever area always blows more in the end vent toward the rear of the camper and the end vent toward the front of the camper. They never blow as much air, but we'll see if we can figure something out. So hopefully we don't have any more of those kind of complaints. I think they're just being picky, but we still try and do our best to make things as good as we can make them. Well, I don't know what to say about this one with the air conditioner. It, I hooked it all up and sat on the bed, turned the vent at me, and you can feel cool air coming down on you. So, it is what it is. Like I said, put this comment down there. What would you guys do in this situation? I think we, uh, we'll probably just reimburse them for two nights and then keep the delivery for sure since we drove there and back and then basically give them 50% of their rent back. I don't know. Kind of crap, kind of comes with the business aspect of it too, but I don't know. It works just fine. So I guess if uh, they complain about 50%, then they can complain about 50% and call a lawyer, I guess, I don't know. We're not going to run all over the country and set campers up and waste our time and burn through $5 a gallon fuel. Like I said, if, if it was me, I would have went to Walmart and bought a $12 clip on fan and clipped it onto the, the counter to blow some air up into the front bedroom. That was their main concern. So you just said it was so hot in there. It was unbearable. And I turned the thermostat up when we got there and the air conditioner kicked off when I hit 67 degrees. They had that, I think it's 59 or something like that is, or 58 is max on the low end of the therm uh, thermostat. So it was below 70 degrees in there. And it was a little warmer in the front bedroom. But like I said, if they were that concerned about it and whatever, they could have bought a fan and it would have solved their little problem. And we were gonna reimburse them for it and they could have kept the fan too. And I mean, I said, a little $10, $15 clip-on fan would have solved a lot of problems. That's what I would have done. If it's hot in one of your rooms in your house, you put a fan in it to get better circulation. So, it is what it is. But uh, we have all the campers home now. Um, we got, let's see, what is today? Tuesday. So we got today, tomorrow, um, to get them all cleaned out. Um, so I think we're just gonna pull them in one by one into the shop so we can turn the air on because it is miserable. And we got a couple people that want to come check out some campers. They rented from a couple other companies before and they're just sketchy about renting a camper again because they had bad experiences. So they want to uh, just come out and check out the campers. I think they were talking like middle of September or something like that. So 
we told them it was not a problem if they wanted to come out and check out campers today or tomorrow would be the best time because we have all of them here if they want to look at them figure out which one they want so yeah we got the chicks moved out into their little uh uh chicken tractor i guess you want to call it so they seem pretty happy and it's i know you're not supposed to do it until they uh i think are like a month old you're not supposed to put them outside but it's 100 degrees you're supposed to keep them at like like above 90 degrees or something like that for the first month so it's plenty hot out and they're only talking to, it's supposed to get down to like the mid 70s at night and we have a little cat box thing for uh kitten litters that someone had dropped off to us a while back and you can put a heat lamp in it it's just a little basically like a mini little dog house so we might throw that in there throw a heat lamp in there and then at night if they're cold they can go on that and warm up i guess but they seem pretty happy out in the grass though they're already ripping everything up so that is uh the end of our weekend start of a new week even though it's tuesday it's kind of how our weeks run but tuesdays and wednesdays are usually our cleaning days not all the time, but typically that's when we have the campers back in the yard is for them two days. And we go through and make sure everything works before they go back out. So people can complain. <laughs> but that'll probably finish this video off. And uh, we'll see what this weekend brings us.